There's a lot of moving parts to make sure that this program is successful. So we're very thankful that we have the volunteers that we have that help to make it successful. The volunteers you have get here around 8 o'clock in the morning and then they, they get to it? Yes, between 8 and 8.30 uh, every morning, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Uh, they get here, they get things started and prepped and ready to go so that we can get these lunches packed for the following day. We have to first kind of calculate what we'll need for the following day's lunches. And then once we calculate that, we have to make sure that we have the materials needed to separate everything. The fresh fruits, some of them need cutting, they all need washing. Sometimes the vegetables need to be separated into individual size. So a lot goes into the planning and prep of creating these meals. You look at each of those individual sandwiches, each of those individual lunches though, and you just think, they are really meeting a need. Yes, they are. Um, we are glad that we have volunteers who care about our mission just as well as we do of making sure that families and children have healthy meals. So because they're passionate about what they do, it helps us to continue to meet the need in the community. The wonderful thing about these meals are not only are they healthy and delicious, but a lot of love goes into these meals yes. because the people that are involved in helping us make this program successful, they really care about the fact that kids yes. receive these healthy, nutritious meals. So we pack things like sliced turkey sandwiches with cheese, on whole grain uh, wraps or hamburger rolls, uh, things like fruit cocktail. We also use fresh fruit like grapes, uh, oranges. Um, we provide juice and milk and also a healthy snack. You must have seen some, some fabulous stories so far of people that have been really helped by this. Yes, we have. At the YMCA in Caroline, we've really had a great um, connection with some organizations out there who have brought their kids from summer camps to come over to our site so the kids can partake in these meals. And that's yeah. been a wonderful partnership. And we like to duplicate that type of partnership and connection because we are a community and we can help each other out in that regard. You bring the kids over, we feed them. It's a win-win for everyone. Do you still need volunteers? We definitely could use volunteers at the site level. Uh, all of our sites, uh, we, we have to have people there to monitor the food service, to help pass out the lunches, to help make sure kids have the assistance that they need if they need something open. So we are always looking for great volunteers who can do that at the site level. How can someone get a hold of you to do that? Of course, people can reach me through my email address, which is labrown at fredfood.org. This is something you're really passionate about. Yes, most definitely. And all of our employees here at the Fredericksburg Regional Food Bank, we all share that passion to really reach the community. That's what we're here for. So without that passion, things would not go as we anticipate them to go and expect them to go. But because we're driven by filling the needs of our community, I think everything works out the way it should. People really need to know that this is a resource that they can feel comfortable with, that they can be confident in. They know that it's good food. They know that it's meant just for these children and we want everyone in the community to take advantage of this resource.